at the record fair. So we've walked out of where we're broadcasting from, down a long corridor. Uh, you walk through the record. If you walk through the record fair, yeah. what you can hear in the background is what we've been talking about earlier on in the show. That's where that's your Rocky Oki boys ah. who are back on stage again. Someone's doing Nancy Sinatra's "These Boots Are Made for Walking." Okay, and, good. And it's sure. pulling the crowd in. Actually, there were people leaving during the last song. There are people returning now. So whoever it is is doing very well. Uh, anyway, next door to that is our uh, record fair. Uh, looking around now, I can see, uh, well, there's Action Records. I suppose Gordon from Action Records earlier on, Action Records from Preston. Uh, there's the Beatnik Record Shop from Altrincham. Uh, Pie and Vinyl, which you mentioned uh, or alluded to, Pie and Vinyl. Uh, that's not, obviously has an aroma of pie. <laughs> uh, to my right-hand side, one of the newest record um, shops in the country, of course, uh, Pop Rex, uh, which is Frankie and the Heartstring Shop. You've got Piccadilly oh. over here. Gideon uh, Cole, Rush, though. Rush Rush oh, yeah, look, here's Gideon Cole. Here's, well spotted. Hey, here's Gideon Co. What are you looking for, Gideon? I'm just looking. Well, what's anybody <laughs> looking for? Whatever, whatever they've got, uh, briefly. But I'm, I'm, what, um, what section are you in? Is that I mean, Newmies? What's that? For, the, uh, for Pop Rex, uh, Sunderland shop, and uh, this is their LP section. New, new, new vinyl LPs, new, new issues. And I like these stickers they put on them. For it's a bit different to what you might normally find in a record shop. For example, Stephen Merritt Obscurities. And the sticker on that says simply Top Banana. <laughs> Top Banana, you can't argue with that. The, the one on Stephen Mountains of the Jigs says the band Pavement could have been. And <laughs> Only the band Pavement could have been. That's but That kid, I'll, I'll tell you what, come around, come around with us because I want to walk down to to the Rough Trade shop, because obviously Rough Trade is one of the most important record shops here because it's virtually where uh, all this began, really. And I've spotted a man called Nigel. Now, I know you two know each other because you go, you shop in Rough Trade, don't you? I do, uh, usually about the same time, not only when I get my hair cut, but it's handy. It is my local record shop and the barbers is next door but one. So I'll get my hair cut and then if I've got any money left after that, I will come and spend it in Rough Trade. If I and uh, Nigel, welcome to the program. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, very yeah. good. Um, we, we, we'll have to talk record store day at some point. That's coming up very soon, I, I know. But here's the thing. So what does Gideon Co buy with his spare money? The money that he hasn't spent on his tremendous barnet? Well, in the old days, when he had a BBC account, he used to buy loads of stuff. <laughs> Unfortunately, these days, he just buys records for himself, I think. He doesn't buy he doesn't buy too much stuff to play on his show, I don't think. He, not too much prog rock anyway, <laughs> that I can see. <laughs> so um, Gideon was saying though that um, it's one of the shops where you can walk in and you can get a recommendation and it will usually be a pretty good one from yourself. Well that, <laughs> that's what we try and do. We try and recommend good records, not bad records. Sometimes we succeed, sometimes we fail, you know. But it's you know, there's no we try and you know, it's horses for courses, you know, one person's, you know, good records, another person's bad records. Has he has he ever sold you a real dud? Come on, kid. <laughs> there, there's, uh, there's quite an a, 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 a ominous phrase that uh, Nigel comes out with, which, which is, if you don't like it, just bring it back. Because, <laughs> and he means it, but the, 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 the truth of it is that you're unlikely to do that. So I'm bringing this back, and I want my money back now. Generally, though, I have to say, that I haven't ever bought a stinker from there. So I, I, I do, the, the worst thing I've put up with is on the rep, like once every six months I may play a Stackridge record and <laughs> Nigel gives me grief about it for the next six months. Yeah. That's what happens, as if there's something wrong with it. Yeah. Well, if I've got one complaint about Radio 6, it's after sort of like about eight o'clock in the evening, too much prog rock. It's like it's <laughs> coming back in. Steve, you know what I'm saying. We did, did, we, did we, Stuart McConey, fight the punk wars <laughs> for this?